Hi everyone, it's Evelyn from Twin Flames 3344. I have some more updates I wanted to share with you. Um, starting from January 25th, and then I pulled a couple cards for you as well. On the 25th, I started getting things like Master the Chariot and Master 8, and 8 being the infinity. And then that day I heard, and this had to do with the Divine Masculine at home. He just closes his eyes to the shouting. And then I started to hear Hosanna. If every voice was still, the noise would still continue. The rocks and stones themselves would start to sing. And that was related also to the Queen of Wands, related to the Divine Masculine, that the Queen of Wands is incomplete. I got the phrase, coming out, guns blazing, in reference to the King and I and then the Department of Flames, so the Fire Department. And three nights were coming up a few times over the past few days. And then I got two to the if, like two to infinity and beyond. <laughs> and this was relating to the number 28 to infinity and there's confirmation for you that his connection is expanding his heart it grew three times the size that day then I got one two three as in the waves and then related to all of this two four six eight who do we appreciate because the Divine Masculine wants to feel appreciated. Then I got one, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Five, six, pick up sticks. Seven, eight, lay them straight. Nine, ten, begin again. And this relates to the Divine Masculine closing the door behind them, getting all of their, their ducks in a row and starting over. Life is a stage of the Broken Hearts Club. The old and wise shed light on this. Lights, action, the stage is set. I also got the thinking man in reference to the Divine Masculine. Um, now you see me, now you don't. And then the music from Stuck On You. The Divine Masculine was connecting during that music. On the 26th, I got that there would be a mass transition on the 28th, which is today. And on, on that day, uh, at 1.11 a.m., my mail was 22.77. I pulled Mary Magdalene that day on the 26th. And that says, I maintain my truth and see the spirituality in all things. And it was reiterating, especially to the Divine Feminine, to always follow your truth, no matter what others say. Always follow your truth above all others. That the Divine Feminine's job is to disarmor the Divine Masculine with love. 
Don't be afraid to raise your vibration, for he will be led to catch up and even surpass in order to, dra in order to drop back in line. Illumination of faith in God, source, as a child being naked. That God chooses to express his divination through your personality. Childlike, playful, that games are fun and artwork is beautiful and messages are divine if you allow. You don't have to make your bed, but instead of being on guard, reacting, be sweet, loving, and pure. Own it. Allow the other to be triggered and just be you. You can be a bed maker or make a mess. If there needs to be a coming together, just find a happy medium. <laughs> okay, and I also noticed on the separation card in the Romance Angels, it talks about time apart from your partners on the horizon. Not that I pulled this card. I'm just referencing this because it says time apart from your partners on the horizon. But horizon is an illusion. There is no separation. Um, also very important is, yes, tell your truth, but more important is to be your truth. Live your truth. I was getting um, two twos uh, with three sets of three portals right now from the 22nd to the 25th to the 28th to the 31st at the eclipse. And that would be from January 2-2 to um, February 2-2, with February 1st being an integration period. And the two twos, and that was the uh, connection to the two twos was at 2-2. Two two. And the, oh, the, an email that, that, that related to that was at 10-22. So if you have three sets of twos also, that's going to add up to the number 12, which is the, the wisdom number, and it's the high octave of the cycle, one through nine, and it's also of the threes. You have the three threes, which is nine, which is the culmination of the cycle, and of course it is, 33 is the Christ vibration. And I was getting three towers that game, that day as well. This is on the 26th in reference to the decoding game. Okay. On 1028, or excuse me, on, um, this is still on the 26th, at 1028, um, I was watching the end of um, 500 Days of Summer, and at the very end, um, the announcer is describing that May 23rd, was a Wednesday, and then it flashes on the screen, 500th day. So 500th day of summer was the end of, of his relationship with summer. So that was very significant to May 23rd, and 23rd is a significant number for me anyway, but that might resonate with some of you, May 23rd. And again, the tower comes up. And also reference with the 500th day of summer, the music that came up was the ukulele, which brought me to um, another code I got, 5-0, about Hawaii.
So then I, I have a sand art that I that I turn over every day. And it's actually a, a piece that I had uh, purchased two years ago for my twin for when one day he'd allow me to give him a gift. Um, it was something uh, that was made in a place where he had spent a lot of time. And I've gotten a lot of messages from this sand art. So the sand art I had done on the 24th and the 25th were looking very much like the Hawaiian mountains. So on the 26th, the message I got from this was the full moon is dropping seeds into Gaia that grow like a beautiful flower so big and strong that it bursts into light and grounds that light into Gaia with diamond light residue. Once the first, once the first is in, more and more light can be grounded to shield the new twins in their bubbles until they are ready to come out and share their diamond light. So they need to be fenced in for a bit like nesting for ideas to germinate from the Christ vector 33. I then saw the three waves as yellow, blue, then green, guided by Jesus, and then the number 27, 2, 7, which is the spirituality, and then to avoid 24, 24, that it's not actually a mirror, but a deception, and it was interesting because it was next to, in, it was next to Xfinity, Okay, so instead of infinity, it's exfinity, finity, and it's related to reds and a stop sign. So it's saying stop. 24 is the queen of wands, and it has to do with dark energy, dark mother, dark violent sex. And to follow the yellow brick road, the white light, until you get to the red. Hate has no home here. And then 28, 28 did exactly reflect it is the correct number to infinity. Don't stop mirroring until you get to infinity to eight and hear the bells chiming. At 1238 that day, and this is on the 27th, my mail was 2323. So that synced again with May 23rd or just 23 in general. The queen of swords will need food for hibernation and 7-Eleven and CVS were suggested. <laughs> Watch the birds and see all the nests and light bulbs. On January 28th at 2.15 a.m. I did my sand again, my sand art. The veil lifts once again to reveal the divine masculine basket of eggs just prior just prior to the ground collapsing beneath their feet, crack open wide and learn to fly and become owls or wise. Then a long line of the first wave divine masculines are being escorted through the gate, but some will not make this portal. Then I sat down to go to bed and the clock was 2.22. And I usually listen to my spa tracks to go to sleep while I meditate. But last night, where normally I'll fall asleep and I'll wake up because I have a few songs at the end of the spa tracks that all of a sudden wake me up and I turn off my iPad. Last night, for some reason, when it got to the first two songs, I did not wake up. But when I did wake up, it was at the third song And I woke up to the most intense full body connections of every line of every song. I'm going to tell you what they were.
And I had asked before I started my meditation for my Divine Masculine to, to lay next to me and hold my hand. And so when I woke up to this full body connection, I woke up to, to, the, to the song by Labyrinth called Jealous, which if you don't know it, you have to listen to it. It's really beautiful. And it surpassed, I did not wake up to the, down, the Dangerous Woman song. And another one after that. But I did wake up to Jealous. And that what was different this time was all of these songs that I had on my list that I used to sing to my Divine Masculine. When I woke up this time, he was singing these songs to me. And every line of the song was an intense full body connection. Um, the other songs were uh, Drowning Shadows by Sam Smith. And mind you, these weren't songs I picked by their titles. They were probably songs that my daughter had given to me. So Jealous and then Drowning Shadows and then then um, You've Got a Friend by Carol King and James Taylor. And then Love, Rain, or Me by The Who. And the songs played as I looked up at the clock when this woke me up. It was 3.44, and 44 is my les life lesson number. And when I looked up at the clock again, it was 3.52, which is his life lesson number. And then, after these, these intense body connections that I never wanted to end, because it was, it's, I don't know if you all feel that the way I do, but I'm, I'm very uh, clairsentient. So when I feel the love energy come through, and when it's intense like that, it literally feels like the energy is holding my body down. And then my mind started to go on to other thoughts, and all of a sudden, I saw um, a med student that I worked with from 20 years ago that I hadn't thought about in ages. And I'm wondering to myself, why am I seeing this person? And then realized it was at another work person's house. The face that I was seeing, this person had the same name as my twin, and the person whose house this party was at had the same birthday as my twin. And this this doctor who's same, who has the same birthday as my twin was actually someone that my dad had told me that of all of the doctors that we had worked with, he was, he was the one that he pictured me being with someone like that. And then I had trouble going back to sleep. And a lot of stuff about uh, about uh, dark and dark uh, violent sex and obsession uh, came up because uh, that's something that actually had come up before that time. Um, it's obviously something that we're supposed to be clearing right now. Okay, and then. Um, Thing I, uh, I had just gotten today was liberty and justice for all. And then I pulled a few cards. Um, from the numerology deck, the cards that pulled, and they're both yellow, are parenting and happy ending. Um, they're both yellow. Uh, the parenting card has a blue Merkaba, and the happy ending card has a purple Merkaba. So it's all about the solar plexus and you loving yourself first and standing in your truth and using your voice and your third eye and crown to communicate your truth. And spirit's connecting with me. Um, 
the uh, cards are happy ending is 93 and parenting is 63. So when there, one was reversed and the other was not, so it was kind of interesting the way the numbers look because it looks like 9-3 and then 3-9. So I'm getting that um, that the twins are to focus on their parenting for a happy ending, focus on themselves. That's, again, solar plexus, yellow. It's all about yellow. Shine your light. Then from the Tarot of Sexual Magic, I pulled one card, and it was the Nine of Pentacles. And in this card, it's all about cutting the cords, cutting karmic cords, all karmic cords, all soulmates. Cut your cords. It's about, um, in the traditional decks, the Nine of Pentacles is that independent person who's got it all together and they're happy on their own. So again, it's about self-love and solar plexus, you know, shining your light, finding your truth and radiating your light. Then in Romance Angels, two cards came out. One was love yourself first, again, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And the other was getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. And then in the uh, Universal Golden Tarot, two cards came out. And by, by the way, at the bottom of this deck is the Ace of Cups. And the two cups that came out are again the Nine of Pentacles which again is that it shows a, a picture of uh, a young woman uh, who could be pregnant or not, but she just has everything that she needs around her. She's very grounded and abundant and, and happy in her own environment. It came out with the Seven of Cups, all of the options that this Nine of Pentacles has. It's saying to, you know, lo you're loving yourself first at this moment and Spirit's connecting with me. It's about identifying what are the things you love to do exactly. Because you need to become clear on these things before union. Okay, so this is your time to take care of your kids and figure out what it is that you really love to do. And I think I'm gonna pick one more I'll pick one more card from the, uh, the Journey of Love. This is for the twins. Okay. And the card we got is number 18, Distant Shores. And it's very interesting because this card is purples and greens and whites, and it has four moons in it really emphasizing the eclipse, okay? And again, it's 18, which is the moon, distant shores. And as I brought up earlier, Hawaii came up. And uh, a lot of my sand art uh, that came up, the, the mountains looked like, you know, there were little, little caves, you know, where twins would hibernate and they would be in little heart shapes. Distant shores, your soul is yearning for more. The divine is all and there are no limits to what can be experienced by the soul. The soul is so hungry for divine reunion that it will seek out whatever it needed to get there, even if that means journeying to a strange or exotic shores for expanded experience. You may be feeling this soul impulse as an urge to travel, to try something new, to let go of the limitations of your mind in how you see your current life and to begin to see the new in what was once familiar. The art of the passionate soul is to be able to see that which is new and fresh even in what is known, though sometimes we can use the help of a fresh vista to inspire the mind to open and the heart to be ready to receive more. It's time for you to reach for the distant shores that are calling to you now, beloved. Don't pack your bags with too much, though, You'll travel light and easy with less baggage and you'll need plenty of space to receive that which is new. 
This oracle, brings, this oracle brings you a message. You will benefit greatly from travel right now. You may travel through the mind, reading journals of faraway lands or times, or watch a film that transports you. Moving your body to a different place is another way, bringing fresh energy by unplugging you for a short time from what you know to plug you into a different circuit so that you may receive different energy. So when the opportunity to travel arises for you soon, whether it be a jaunt far away or a day in a different place, take it. Don't worry if it doesn't seem practical. The divine is so much more important, intelligent, and capable of genius than what mere logic would have us believe. And the poem reads, I waited for dawn, not wanting to go, but knowing I soon would have to leave. I waited for the first light, listening, joining with you on each breath and each exhale. I watched as morning came and you gently stirred, knowing our love was not measured in time, not the minutes that quickly passed or the hours as departure approached. How I wanted to linger, how I wanted to tell you that this moment would last forever and whisper one more time, I love you. And then you held me and said it first and goodbye no longer mattered and spirits connecting with me. Okay. So um, just remember to take good care of yourselves. Make sure to drink lots of water, get as much rest as you can, and just be good to yourself. And just do what you can to, to make yourself happy at this point. Okay, spend time with your kids. Find the things that you love and possibly make plans to travel. And just remember to always rise and be loved.
شبا